Pisces. What's goody, y'all? It's your girl, Blue Phoenix, and I am back with another message. Thank y'all so much for coming back home, my babes. Come on, man. Come, come on. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And if you're new here, welcome home, babe. We've been waiting on you, and we're so glad you finally made it home. So let's see what messages Spirit has for us today. Let me tell y'all, y'all, this song was on my mind today. You do to me, blind. You blow my mind with the things like what? I'm so into you. Who into you, Pisces? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey, hey, boy, you got me so confused. SWV, I'm so into you. Okay, so. <laughs> I was like, Spirit, why is that song on my mind today? In the song, the girl is saying that she's into this guy, the way that he does her. Okay? So, <laughs> put that energy where you want to put it. But um, the problem is, is that he is with someone else. And the girl that he is with, she says she's not blind. She knows what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if this is... Like, you're so into somebody and they got an old lady or old, you know what I'm saying, old man or whatever. Or if someone is so into you and your attention just isn't fully on them right now. So, let's see what's going on. Somebody's into somebody, though, Pisces. So, Spirit, tell me about this energy that I'm picking up on this morning. What is coming towards Pisces in love? All right. Don't forget to like the video, y'all. If you need a personal reading, I do offer those. All the information is listed down below in the description box. Make sure you book your four questions for $55. Weekend only special, so make sure you hop on it. It's for a limited time only. All right, y'all. Let's see. Spirit, show us what's coming towards Pisces and love on this energy I'm picking up on, please. Mm. Trust, Pisces. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So tell me, tell me what's coming towards Pisces and love spirit. I'm so into you. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What's coming towards Pisces and love spirit? A king of swords could be significant. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, somebody could stay a distance from you as well. I'm also hearing, um, I heard surgery just then. I don't know. I don't know why that's significant. All right. But something about medical or first responders or something like that. Look, y'all, new love. I love it. We've been waiting on this, Pisces. Okay, we've been waiting on this. New love. Let's see what else. It says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. What's coming towards Pisces and love? Whoa, we got wedding. All right, so definitely a higher level commitment here. And it says on the bottom, let your friends help you. So some of you guys could meet someone through your friends, okay? I also take that card as help from the angelic realm. Like your friends, like your spirit team, let them help you. All right, tell me more, spirit. And then we're gonna clarify some things. Hmm. Tell me more spirit. What's coming towards Pisces and love? All right. Okay. I don't know what that is right there. What's coming towards Pisces and love spirit? Mm hmm. Hmm. The cards don't want to come out. Is it moving slow, Pisces? Is it moving slow? Okay. All right, off grid is on right now. All right, and then it says nostalgia. Hmm, makes me feel like you've known this person before, or this person takes you back to a time, or you could have this um, effect on this person. Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces and love? What's up? <laughs> All right, let's see getting to know each other Pisces okay make the effort 
So Spirit, tell me about this energy I'm picking up on. Who is this person? Tell me about this person that is so into Pisces. What is this energy, Spirit? Hmm. Okay, somebody could be a loner or like is not really big on a lot of attention or something like that. Okay. I'm very much picking up on an Aquarius energy right now. Some of you guys, this could be a slow moving. I heard bus, a slow moving bus. I don't know what that means. All right, you got the two of wands with the nine of coins, Pisces. Energy's coming towards Pisces and love spirit. Let's talk about this new love. Tell me about this new love spirit. Page of coins with the devil on the bottom of the deck. The page of coins is about a humble beginning. It's about, um, that's my baby manifestation card, okay? The pinnacles are very much stable, right? All right, they're stable. They are, uh, the pinnacles are, um, kind of slow moving right it's not fast like the wands are the the pinnacles are more i'm hearing something about strength or hmm, stability here okay tell me more about this new person spirit okay something about the boys boy scout boy scouts or the girl scouts or something like that okay somebody might have a child in the boy scouts or girl scouts all right all right somebody could like camping all right, getting in touch with nature, mountain climbing and shit like that. Some kind of sports or um, I'm feeling very much like taking care of their body or something here. Okay, somebody could have a nut allergy. Okay. All right, or, or, or be allergic to bees or something like that. All right, spirit, tell me about this new person. That's in, oh, oh, tell me about them. The Ten of Coins. Oh my gosh. The Ten of Coins is like family. It is inheritance. It is, um, um, that's one of my ancestor cards, okay? It's something here about you knowing this person before. I don't know if this would be a past life, okay? But I'm hearing very much soul family, all right? Tell me more about this person, Spirit. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Who is this new person? Okay. The Emperor. Come through, Emperor. That's what we like to see. Let's see some leaders around here, okay? So the Emperor is definitely a boss, all right? An Emperor is, he takes charge. He runs shit. You understand me, Aries, energy. So tell me about this Emperor Spirit. What's going on with him? All right, somebody may have a lap dog, okay? Okay, or some kind of like, um, like guinea pig or, and if this, okay. We have judgment in the 10 of swords. So what is it in the 10 of swords fail on top of the emperor with the judgment on top of that? Give me a minute, Pisces, with the ace of cups here. What is the 10 of swords about, spirit? Love spell and manifest. What you doing? What you doing, Pisces? What is the Ten of Swords? What's ending here for the Emperor? What's ending here for the Emperor? Okay, let's see. What's this Ten of Swords about for the Emperor Spirit? Commitment. Commitment. All right. This person could be just coming out of a relationship. Okay. Or getting over a relationship or something of that nature. I feel as though something, something called their attention to end something here. Okay. All right. This could even be a marriage for some of them. Okay, wow, Pisces. I feel as though you're about to meet someone who may still be in a relationship or may still uh, be getting over a previous relationship. I feel as though this person has children with someone else or 
I don't know, something about a prior engagement. All right, because remember in the song, she's like, I am so into you, but you still have someone else. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, like a, a int intermission is what I heard. I don't know what that, what, what are we talking about? Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Swords with the judgment. What did the emperor wake up to? What happened? Vacation, you will be traveling soon vacation though to me that make me feel like this getting to know each other um card okay this person could be pets as i told y'all there's something here about this uh, about pets guinea pigs rabbits some kind of different kind of pet though all right or a lap dog all right i'm seeing a little little pet what's the vacation with the judgment all right you might meet this person on vacation okay or out of town or something of that nature or this person may come to your city or something i don't know it's something here i picked up on that at the beginning like it's a distance between you guys right now okay this distance could be physical or it could be distance like someone is still in a prior engagement is what i keep hearing tell me about this ace of cups spirit the high priestess on the bottom pisces could be significant here the new love okay how is this gonna come about for pisces spirit someone else someone else is in the middle i'm telling you someone still i feel as though someone still has a lingering energy around okay you see that give me a second for somebody okay it's something about a dog park or some about pets here pets are very significant okay animals okay this wedding someone else this situation involves marriage i'm gonna be honest <laughs> with this vacation card it's just very much making me feel like the like i said the getting to know each other like uh not honeymoon like we're together but like vacation let's just run off real quick or something okay getting to know each other and wedding make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take spirit tell me about this with the um this person i'm picking up on what's going on with them with this wedding and mercury retrograde and distance like i said distance and mercury retrograde hmm Give me a second, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this person? This new love spirit coming in towards them, please. There's something here about taking your time, not rushing. Look at this, engagement and commitment, Pisces. This is looking good. I feel as though this person has to still settle some issues or something first, though. I feel as though they're not able to completely commit right now, okay? Yeah. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. definitely a message here to not rush not rush anything children on the cut so what action does Pisces need to take at this moment spirit with this energy here mm-hmm <laughs> Let's do that again. You got calling in your soulmate at the bottom of the day. <laughs> Let your friends help you, Pisces. Stay optimistic about your love life. 
ask for and accept support from others. Mm -hmm. Give the relationship a chance. So Pisces, I'm very much picking up on and worth waiting for. Listen, with this energy here, when you meet this person or if you've already met this person, there's something here about making sure with stay, look, stay optimistic about your love life and worth waiting for, okay? All right, also release your ex is here. There's something here about someone having to release someone, okay? Someone is still in a in 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 some sort of commitment or a connection or something of that nature. So what are their intentions for Pisces? Paradise, my ninjas. I'm telling you. Paradise. All right. Mm. Damn. Yeah, look, you got healing family issues. Healing family issues here. There's definitely something going on here. And healing heart. Listen to me, Pisces. Either you or this person, like I said, it's some about closing out cycles. And I'm, I'm here and drawing each other, drawing towards each other. Okay, but just make sure you take your time with this energy here because there's still some figuring out that needs to be doing, done or something like that is what I'm hearing. Advice for Pisces, please. Take your time, Pisces. Engagement ring on the bottom of the deck again. This love is worth waiting for. That's what I'm hearing. You got the runner, Pisces. Hmm. Don't, don't, it says fear of intimacy and listening to the ego. All right. And it fell on healing family issues and um, let your friends help you. Hmm. Release your ex. Not enough. Hmm. Hand of cards, Pisces. It's, listen, some of you guys, I don't know if it's y'all or this person, Somebody is getting over a bad relationship, period. Okay, you got girl with a snake. This is empath, narcissist. Some, some of you guys could have been traumatized or been truly hurt by whatever it was that you were in, okay? This could have caused you to close off your heart, to go within, to go into hermit mode. A Virgo could be significant here, okay? You have the runner, not enough, and hand of cards. The runner is like, I'm scared, I'm fearful. But here's the hand of cards, like, just take a chance, take a risk, open up your heart chakra. Hello, we've been saying that for like the last four readings, right? But it's definitely still something here about guarding your heart while it is open and you're allowing this love to come in, still make sure you're paying attention to the red flags and you're creating boundaries and standing your ground, right? This is what I'm hearing, okay? Healing heart, healing family issues, has to be done here first some sort of healing has to be done here someone has to release someone before this love could take off real talk but it's here to take off though <laughs> literally anything else pisces needs to know spirit the butterfly once again look at the bottom what to say healing the inner child second Pisces I'm feeling like tapping a little further in so what's the situation the emperor is in right now spirit this emperor energy okay and put the energy where it goes Pisces you could be the emperor here okay will of fortune closing out cycles like I said Closing out cycle, seven of wands, standing your ground, creating boundaries, things of that nature. All right, Pisces, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Um, yeah, take a chance, okay? <laughs> take a chance, flirt, okay? Let go of control issues. Free yourself, Pisces, okay? Free yourself of whatever this, this cycle is or <clears throat> whether this is, <clears throat> excuse me, your ex or 
whether this is your person having to let go of someone. All right. I love you guys. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Share the planet. If you need a reading, hit your girl up. Shouts out to all of the VIP and official members, uh, citizens of Planet Pisces. Y'all get ready for the live. I don't know exactly what day is going to be yet, but just make sure your um, notification bell is on so you guys are notified when we go live for the VIP citizens of Planet Pisces. If you are not a VIP citizen yet, go down below, look in the description box, and join your planet. It's your home. <laughs> All right, guys. I love y'all so much, and I will talk to y'all later.